All right, it's time to do a little bit of shooting with the Chasse So, a hand rolled paper cartridge here. This should pretty well prevent gas from leaking out, but still wearing eye protection. So, there we go. As you shoot these, soot accumulates in the chamber, of course, and the bolt gets tighter and tighter to run until at some point, if you have a combination of a very sooty chamber and a slightly over length cartridge, you, know, you just kind of won't be able to close the action and then you'll have to clean the gun. But we haven't gotten to that point yet. This is actually a very pleasant gun to shoot. Um, recoil's not that bad at all. It's, uh, I believe this is loaded with a 405 grain bullet, all black powder. So uh, important thing to remember is you actually have to cock the action first, then open the bolt. The two are not connected to each other. After firing, there's gonna be a little bit of residue in here, which I can show you. And uh, stuff in another cartridge and you're ready to go. Because these are paper and caseless, there's nothing that has to come out, which is kind of disconcerting to people sometimes. It's something that you don't necessarily think about. Uh, kind of like 1910s electric cars. You're like, wow, they had caseless ammo in 1866. Well, yes, yes they did. So there's some of the residue still stuck to the front of the firing pin. You can knock that off. All right, so there's the firing pin exposed all the way through as if it were actually fired. Um, that's, that's the depth that it goes into the cartridge. And the amount of soot and residue on this is from, I believe, six shots at this point. This gun was bright, shiny, clean when we started, and six cartridges later, yeah, there you go, you can see it down under there. Six cartridges later, that's uh, what it looks like. So I think we can get a few more through it before it's too gunked up to continue working. So you went and put the bayonet on there, didn't you? I did. Because it wasn't long enough to begin with, huh? No, not at all. Look at that. The uh, part of the paper case got stuck to the uh, spine of the bayonet there. Nice. So yes, people will ask what happens to the cartridge case, the paper, and the answer is most of it gets blown out the muzzle. Ah, there we go. So, there is a question as to how many rounds you can fire through a chasse before there gets to be enough fouling in it that you just can't cram another cartridge in. So this is actually the 20th round that we have fired in this range session so far today without any real cleaning. We've wiped off the, the little needle housing here a little bit, but almost. There we go. 20 rounds even. That's, that's pretty substantial because the length of a stand-up battle where you actually had 20 rounds of fire without a chance to clean something is, I think, not all that common uh, in this time period. Normally you'd have a couple of rounds back and forth and then something else would happen. Still working. Yeah, there we go. 